Hello, hello, and welcome to this the announcement video for the October 2024 edition of the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. The challenge name this month is Spooky Scary Skeletons. World settings are standard biomes, structures on, natural mob spawning off, because we're going to be using some custom mob spawning for this one. And standard rules apply. Your objective. This is a skill-based challenge. Create and place a chest. The number of bones in the chest at the end of the challenge or on your death, whichever happens first, is your score. Both regular bones and bone blocks count as one bone for this purpose. This challenge is intended to be played with a custom natural spawning data pack, available from a link down in the description. Though, if you're using Bedrock Edition or the data pack is otherwise unavailable, the challenge can be played without it just to turn the natural mob spawning back on again. Get the data pack running, you want to do a couple of things, which I'll go over in the world setup in a second. And what this will do is it'll change the natural mob spawning from the typical vanilla one to one with a lot more different kinds of skeleton variant in it. Challenge credit for this challenge goes to myself, BSM, but special thanks also to Suzo for creating the Artificial Net Spawns data pack, which I have made a modified version of for this challenge. It's time to set up the world. We're using the latest version of the game as of the time of recording, which is 1.21.1. Hit single player, create new world, type in whatever world name you would like. I'm going to go with this one. Make sure you're on hardcore mode. Head over to the world tab. Type or paste in the seed, which is MHC underscore 2024 underscore October. Uh, like so. We generate structures on. Bonus chest off. Head over to more. First thing you're going to want to do here is head into game rules, scroll down to the mob section, and then the spawning section, and set do mob spawning to off. Hit done. Enter the data packs, open the pack folder, and copy into there the suso.nats folder from within the zipped file that you can download from the description below. If you've done that properly, it should then appear on the left here, and you can click it to move it over to the right. When that's done, create new world. Right. Here we are. If you've done that correctly, you should end up somewhere that looks a little bit like this. We're not quite done yet, though. Open the world up to LAN and allow commands, because we need to enter a command. It's down in the description below as well, and it is scoreboard players set enable Susunats1. And once you've done that, you're all set to go. You'll know you've definitely set everything up correctly when it gets to night time and you start seeing some uh, more interesting looking and nasty skeletons around. Episodes should be 20 minutes in length from sunup to sunup, and we post our episodes on Mondays and Fridays. There are eight Mondays and Fridays in October this year, meaning that your total playtime should be approximately two hours and forty minutes. You can see all the details I mentioned down in the description below, along with the links to the data pack that you'll need, the official MHC Discord, and the challenge submission form where you can submit your own ideas for future challenges. PSA that the MHC website no longer exists, um, the domain on it expired, and Javadad, who is maintaining it, doesn't think it's worth maintaining that domain anymore, which I kind of agree with. It wasn't being updated for a while anyway, so we shall never mention the website again. Please do leave a comment down in the comment section below. Include in your video titles or descriptions the handy dandy hashtag above so that people can find your content a little bit more easily. Thank you very much for watching. Hope that you enjoyed. 
and have fun with the challenge.